What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. You already know it's time for another build. I may buy another C10. I, I kind of need, I'm always needing more trucks, but I, I'm, I don't need any more. <laughs> it's like, I have like 12 at this point, but I build one and then I don't want to change it. And then I get something like this and I want to build a new setup. So uh, maybe eventually we'll get another C10, but for now this is a donor truck because I was lucky enough to get some of this stuff from Mofo RC sent my way this ugly AF chassis the stuff they got going on over there is freaking amazing this is beautiful all right it's nice and lightweight and I, just looking at it I, I love it I love all the mounting options for the shocks and then I like uh, that the belly you get a little angle out of it but it's not like a big hook like I've been dealing with on the BOC um, I'm liking the BOC chassis, but I just wish it had a little bit less of an angle on that belly. So hopefully this is going to be the perfect option. All right. Um, and then it's cut out, you know, just saving that weight. So super nice. I like the fact that it comes with all the stuff you need and these little uh, braces that go from rail to rail. So that's nice that was something with the VOC I had to just make my own um, and then you get these plates for like the e ESC um, I assume and stuff and I'm not really gonna do a full build um, how-to on this because um, they have a good video on their channel showing how this goes together and um, who's gonna know better how to put it together than than the ones that built it right so um, I can put a link to that in the description and that way if you get one of these and you need to know how to do it there you go but um, this is just going to be a basic I wanted to show it off I'm going to build it and then we're going to run it and just get my thoughts on it so um, that's more what this will be also got the torque beast and the bulletproof transmission kit this this right here is nuts so this is not going to bust this transmission up. Super nice. Metal gears. Look at that. Oh, I can see the metal gear in there. Freaking beautiful. Let's let's just look at it real quick. And we also have the black label servo here. Um, so I'm curious, interested to try that out. That'll be cool. A new servo to test. And then the best servo mount ever made. A MoFo. Um, that's a MoFo servo mount right there. Um, that's really cool. It's going to allow us to put a better servo like this on there with ease without having to cut and hack. And then it lets you, uh, four link pretty easily I believe so check that out clean looking gears and that gear looks stout don't it I hope you can tell in the video that thing looks tough super excited to run this setup so pretty <laughs> We will get this together. I'll show you guys what's up with it. And then we'll do some running and see how we like it. Um, all this stuff's available. MofoRC.com. And Nick is really cool to work with. He'll get you lined out, shipped out quick. Um, I think. The ugly AF chassis is around 55 bucks, I think. This is around 55 bucks, something like that. Shipping. Not 100% sure on this other stuff, but go search their page and you'll just find everything that you want and you can just buy it all, anyways. So, um, we're gonna, I'm going to get started on this and then I will jump ahead so you guys don't have to deal with all this. A couple things I wanted to talk about. 
during this build. Um, one is how smooth this thing's going together. Uh, it's just so nice having everything you need. ESC trade, don't have to worry about trying to take this one off, cut it, hack it, make it work, make it fit in some holes that it's really not even made for, that sort of thing. You have all of this stuff. You got these tiny little nuts here. I don't even know if you can see them, but I'm going to be able to use those on the back side of the shocks. I'm going to talk about my shocks I'm going to use. Um, and then all of your screws, you have your little six millimeters that work great for here and here. And I actually used them on this tray also. And then you have like an eight, a 10, I think, or 12. <clears throat> Haven't measured those, but those will be your long ones for the links and that sort of thing. So just having everything here to go, ready to go, it's making this so much easier. It's letting me experiment a little bit more with the build instead of worrying about well, how the heck am I going to mount this? What, what kind of tray am I going to use? It it won't it won't line up with any of these holes and that sort of thing. So um, you can see I got everything laid out. Love this mat. I'm not trying to push anybody on buying one of these. Buy it if you want. But this is one of the most handy things I've bought in a while. Um, and I'll link this mat in the description. I used to always work off of these. This is like the Pro Line mat, but they're pretty expensive for what they are. You can poke a hole right in them. Can't hurt this thing. Okay, I mean, I'm sure you could cut it if you tried, but um, not gonna hurt it. You can set the soldering iron right on it like that, drop solder on it, whatever. You just take it, wash it. This one needs to be washed bad. <laughs> but clear it off, wash it off, and it looks new again. So I'll definitely link this in the description. One of the best tools I've purchased in a while. Um, and then I wanted to talk about my shock choice. Um, you guys know a while back I did a video on these Trill oil filled shocks. And I kind of put them on a truck that I just really haven't been using. I tested them. They seemed really stiff. Um, and so I hadn't, hadn't really been using them. So I wanted to show you guys um, what I'm going to do with these. Let me pull one more of them off here so I can show you real quick. All right, so here's one with the the way they come, the spring they come with and everything. You can see it's just, it's stiff. That spring is stiff. It automatically just like rebounds super fast. They're really tight with that spring that comes with them. So I'm gonna be running some VLP springs off of some double barrels. You can see this spring here, hopefully you can see that, versus this thing. Okay, big difference. And I think that's going to make this shock do a little more what I want. I want it to kind of slow, slowly release like that. That way it can, you know, extend when the, when the tire drops off and it kind of pulls on it and it can extend. It will slowly bring itself back, but most of the time it's going to ride a little low. I think these are going to work pretty good. Um, you can also get the VLP, I'm, I'm sorry, the double barrel style shocks um, from MoFo RC. And so, you know, these are what we're used to getting with the double barrels. You get that travel there where that compresses all the way in. Um, a lot of people have trouble with those binding, but I don't run outdoors a lot with my 24, so I don't have any trouble with them. But his have lots of options. It looks like they have lots of different spring rates. You can even get limiting lim limiting straps with them, all that. So um, I definitely check those out. I didn't really uh, realize that he had such a cool setup for those, so I may have to pick up a set of those eventually. But for now, I wanted to try these oil filled out on a truck that I feel like I'm going to run this a lot when it's done. So I'll quit blabbing, just touching on what's going into this thing so you guys know how it's set up. All right, so this is how we work around here. We got Liam back here testing. <laughs> Junk everywhere. But I wanted to show you why they say this is the 
best servo mount ever made. Here's the hot racing Emax servo tray, right? So you can forward link off of it, but if you notice, these tabs are raised a bit. So when you put your servo in there, it hits. I don't know if you can see that gap, but your servo don't sit all the way back or it sits like that, whatever. So the way this is made, and I just got one of these on right now, but this is going to mount like that. And it's completely flush. And that drops down and gives you the room to four link. Hopefully you can see that. Anyways, just wanted to show why that's actually a much better mount. Alright guys, here it is. I wanted to show this thing off real quick um, without the body. Just to kind of show you what's up. You can see it a little better. I was trying to think of a way to explain how great this is. And to me, um, it's like Axial came out with a 2.0 version of the SX24. And this is it. And this is like a conversion kit or something. Because, I mean, this thing, it's the best well thought out, put together. You have every screw, every piece you need type setup that I've messed with. Honestly, aftermarket chassis, this is it. Um, that's no joke. Mofo RC, it is what it is. Freaking amazing. Um, I love the setup. You can see how I've got this thing on the trill shocks. Um, going to test it out with those. I kind of like how they got a little little resistance. They, they move around smooth when you're, mo you're driving, so I'm liking that so far. I actually just used some of these old links that I'd made. They're kind of a wreck in the rear, and then some hot racing that I had sitting that didn't fit anything else in the front. I may change the wheelbase up a little. I don't know. I slapped my C10 body on this to get some running, so uh, I'll throw some running clips in there real quick. The best thing about it is you can use pretty much any body with this thing. So with this rear, the way it's set up, you just hook your mount just like it comes off the truck straight into there. I dropped the C10 body on it, fit great. Dropped the Jeep body on it, fit great. Um, you know, dead bolt, you could, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can put any of them on there. You may have to adjust your wheelbase a little with your links and stuff. But the fact that you can take this thing and make a quick, easy conversion to something that's way better and still just slap your stock body on it if you want. That's that's awesome. And it's super easy. Um, so I like the battery up front here. So you can see your battery mounts nice and low in the very front, tucked in there clean. I normally uh, use the Velcro to hold down the, ballot, the balance uh, plug. The way mine's set up, I had to put the battery in this side uh, for it to reach. But overall, in love with this chassis. Like if I'm building a truck on rails like this, right now, I'll be buying these every time. That's just the way it is. Um, all went together super smooth. You have all these mounting holes, plenty of options for your shocks lots to play with and like i said you get all the everything you need screws everything so um the only thing i'm not real big on of this build is this motor um it's just it's just a little weak for me i'm going to change it out we're going to go with more power hopefully the torque beast 50 here from mofo will get us some more power i don't know we may play with a brushless setup in there who knows but it runs really well like it is i just i'm the type if i get in a tight spot i don't want the motor stalling out i'd rather just break something or 
or get through it. I, I'm not going to sit there with it stalling out on me. So um, you'll see in the running clips a couple of times it just it was wedged in and it just wasn't going to do anything else. So, you know, uh, I guess that's good because you're not going to break stuff. But me, I want that power. If it <laughs> if it breaks it, it breaks it. So anyways, it's it's a great motor. I ran this thing hard, gave it all it, uh, you know, all I could, even when it was like binding and bogging out, I'm just ripping on it, and it never got hot, I never felt this thing even a bit warm, so that's a plus for sure, so really my hardest decision now is what body am I going to run, um, because it's so easy to put any body on here, like, um that's gonna be your hardest decision overall though guys did don't sleep on this this chassis it i'm telling you i try not i try to be honest about it i ran it a little bit it runs great i like um a little less angle on that skid there from the boc i i wish my power wagon build with the bed and everything was on this chassis to be honest with you um because i love that truck and I think it would be just a little better on this. So I don't know. We may try to fit that stuff on here and, and go with that route. But uh, I just kind of slapped the C10 back up, the green one with my white wheels. I hadn't ran that thing in a while. Like it was, it's been in pieces. These wheels and tires have just been sitting. Honestly, these tires are just a little small for me. If you're running a, a low setup like this, I, I'd like to have just a little bigger tire. Or, or more power for sure um, I'll put a clip in here where I just couldn't get over the crest here you'll see I was just struggling and struggling and I never did make it over that because I didn't have enough power to launch over it um, and then I was just dragging out and then no no tires catching so the hardest thing is deciding on a body I'm, I'm debating on even maybe doing some cutting on this and dropping this down on there real low um, I'll have to trim some out. This was on my uh, an old build that I, I honestly never run anymore. It was back before like there were any options for any parts. All you had was hot racing aluminum, and so this whole truck right now is just like a hot racing aluminum parts bin, and uh, I don't really use it because it's not the greatest for performance. So. I thought about maybe cutting this and slamming it down on here a little bit and then changing the maybe the wheels and tires up but I don't know not 100% sure on it yet but I know I love the performance of this I like how this front is cut off it's not in the way of your servo at all but you still have plenty of room there to get your body mounts you can mount your post up I had these mounted up for my C10 just pivots down boom magnets on good to go so man it's 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 super simple it's not going to get any easier than this if you're wanting a uh, lcg chassis so um you guys let me know what you think i'll throw the rest of the running clips in here and uh definitely gonna want to check out mofo rc so much cool stuff i've got some flex blades going to be going on a, a different build here soon and just lots of really cool stuff so i appreciate mofo for helping me out with this letting me check it out and test it run it man you did well uh so y'all let me know if you need anything i appreciate everybody don't forget to like subscribe click the bell so you get notified when i'm posting videos we just did the betty giveaway got it shipped it should be at its new home like today or tomorrow and so definitely want to click the bell so you get notified when i'm doing those giveaways and stuff and if you guys keep shopping the amazon and a main links hit me up if you need anything i'll get you a link and just pitching it all back into giveaways so i appreciate everybody and let's get into a little running
So this little climb right here, you've seen it a lot lately. I just like this line. Um, for this truck with these smaller tires, the, the Rock Creepers, to make this as easily as it does is pretty amazing. Um, if you watched my last video with the big tires, even some of those struggled with it. And then the side hill shot right here, if I don't hang real far right with this truck, the front, the front diff cover wants to catch when that left wheel drops off and it hangs up, it won't make it. But this thing can side hill so well that I can just kind of put it on its side right there and still make the line. So where maybe you don't have as much clearance, you have, you know, the, the lower center of gravity and uh, was able to just side hill and get around it. So, um, like I said, this truck's running really good the way it is. I just kind of want to uh, change the looks up a bit. I just tossed this body on and stuff to uh, get it going and see how I like the, ch the chassis. I wanted to get, you know, some testing in with it. And so far, I'm, I'm in love with it. All right, guys, so definitely keep an eye out for uh, an update on this truck. I'm gonna work with it some more and uh, I'll update it soon. If you guys need anything, don't forget the A-Main and Amazon links. Hit me up, I'll get you a link. I appreciate everybody. Peace.